Hey everybody, it's Shadowstar and Crystal here for another error review. This time it's Honor, Fa Honor Thy Fathers. Not to be confused with the season one episode, but we get some interesting information that was foreshadowed way back in the third last episode of season one. Way back then, we discovered Robert Queen had murdered someone, or well, more likely manslaughter, but he had been guilty for somebody's death. He told Boyer about it in some flashbacks in season one, and I remember, I remember that way back then, and I didn't know that those flashbacks existed, but I knew this episode did, and I was like, oh, that's so cool that they set that up and brought it back. Uh, so here it is again, actually being used as a plot point. Yeah. Yeah. I said that ages ago, and here we are finally at that episode. Man, we've come far. But yes, we get to hear about the case of what happened with Robert Queen and when a guy died. And then Adrian Chase tries to play some game with Oliver once again. Yeah, but it was weird and surprising that he just gave up so easily, just being told that his father was going to disown him. Although from the shot at the end, I'm not sure if he's really given up or I don't know. Well, we have two episodes left and he's locked up at Argus. Yeah. So, yeah. Is well, Argus really the right place to hold him in custody? Probably. They probably don't want to risk him getting out, out of a conventional prison. Mm. Yeah. But in the flashbacks, we're back to Leanne Yu. We get to have some good scenes with Anatoly. We go to Robert's grave. Oh, and then Kovar's still alive. We knew that, but Oliver didn't. Oh, yeah. We've got two episodes. He's got 48 hours to catch his boat. Spoiler alert, we know he does. Yeah. That being said, I'm so excited for it. We do have the side plot with Renee, which up until the ending was a really nice plot. Again... It was nice until he was an idiot and didn't show up. I know. Why on earth would he not show up after that amazing speech Quentin gave? Mm. Quentin was so good at this episode with that. And now Zoe probably thinks, well, he doesn't care. He doesn't want me back. Well, maybe we'll find out why Renee didn't show up next episode. But Renee didn't show up. That was the last scene. He better be, like, kidnapped or something. Well, we'll have or to see. Or else he's, a, he's an idiot. Maybe he's just an idiot. But whatever. Still, it was an interesting episode. It's a, I've noticed this a lot with Arrow's third last episodes is they're often not super spectacular in the sense of a grand fight. I mean, there were some still nice fight scenes, like, as always. But in general, there's a lot of sitting around and talking about Robert Queen and legacies and all that yeah. stuff. Not that that's a bad and thing. With the stuff that actually happened, it's one of those moments where if you change things slightly, it could be an ending. Like, for example, um, Oliver goes back to the island and he could have just been done with it, but then he got shot. Or, like, we caught Adrian, we could be done with stuff, but I feel like we're not done with him. Gee, it's almost as if we have two episodes left in a season. Exactly. And these, these things never going to wrap up early because that would just be weird. Yeah, exactly. So it just leaves you wondering, well, I know it's not over, but what's going to happen? <sighs> I will say this. I'm excited for the next two episodes. Okay. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. I really do love the finale. Anyway, but still, I enjoyed this episode. It's different, obviously, because we're mostly talking about legacies, but I like when things connect back, you know? I enjoyed the flashbacks with all the Anatoly stuff, and I love seeing it all connect back and making it feel like we're really tying it back into season one. And it's a bit, I don't know, it's a bit interesting, the fact of, like, not only are we going back to Leanne Yu, but then the fact of the main story in the present kind of also ties into season one and early seasons with Robin yeah. and all that stuff. That being said, it didn't excite me that much. So no, I agree. I agree. I'm just going to go 7.5. I agree. Most of my excitement is more... Because we say this every time there's a third last episode. It's build up for something better, which is fine. You've got to have build up. But I agree. Most of my excitement is because I know what's coming. Yeah. That's not to say this episode was bad. It's just... It's got to lay the groundwork, and that's fine. Yeah, we'll see if it lives up to your hype. I'll say 7.5. Yeah. What is the next episode called? Missing, which I hope Renee is, otherwise he's an idiot and I hate him for not showing up. Well, also William at the end of the previous episode. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway. We forgot about him for an episode. No, I mean, okay, he, Oliver did say where's William and they couldn't find him. Yeah, 
which is just stupid. Are you saying that uh, Adrian is better than Felicity? At we still don't know how him? Adrian found him. Whatever. There are two episodes left, and I'm excited. We will see you next time, guys, for the second last episode of Season 5 of Arrow, and other things as well. See you next time, guys.